New rules limit camping and blocking public areas like sidewalks in Louisville. WDRB's Darby Bean breaks down the changes for us tonight. After months of discussion, the changes passed in Metro Council Thursday night. If it isn't clear what this ordinance hopes to achieve, it is possible you may not live in a neighborhood where you see the challenges daily. Challenges of blocked access and wording in the document that says public space should be accessible to everyone. Sponsors say the changes in this ordinance that passed 16 to 8 expand the window from 48 to 72 hours that outreach workers have to respond to an area before it constitutes as an encampment. It addresses parks and defines camping and calls for removing items that block access to public space like sidewalks. It Councilwoman says, Nicole George says this is not about anyone's housing status. Quite frankly, in my neighborhoods, there's an array of behaviors that restrict access to the right, rights away, and those folks are not all homeless. But at least one council member who voted against it says he doesn't believe this is the answer and argues that it does target those in the community who are living on the streets. I hope the public doesn't see this and think this is something that's really going to make a difference. I don't think it will. I think it's counterproductive. We've been told that now by 30 organizations. These organizations listed on a letter sent to Metro Council urging members to table the vote until Mayor-elect Craig Greenberg's administration has a coordinated plan. We don't feel like the ordinance that has been proposed and now passed really gets to the issues that people are complaining about. The Coalition for the Homeless says what's needed is more access to shelters and housing. Because if all we're doing is improving ordinances on how we can move people out of spaces, they're just going to move into new spaces and new neighbors are going to be frustrated. Who speaks for them? Councilwoman George says passing this is a starting point. But others, while saying what passed is much improved from the original document, still wish this would have waited until the new mayor takes over for Louisville. I hope that the Greenberg administration will have a plan. Um, I think it would be, have been better not to change the ordinance until we knew what that plan was. Um, but we'll have to see. Councilwoman George says she expects this ordinance to be signed and officially go into effect within the next few weeks. Reporting in Louisville with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Darby Bean, WDRP News.